Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to capture long exposure and astrophotography photos on your Google Pixel 10 Pro. Let's begin by um, opening the camera app, of course, and after that uh, we'll begin with um, the astrophotography. So for that you will need to go to Night Sight, and in Night Sight uh, you are now um, capturing night photos. What night photos are, are um, basically your phone has to be still for them because they will capture for longer a period of time like for several seconds um, so th the phone needs to hold keep still and um, later it just makes it capture more light because the, la the longer it takes a picture the more light it captures so um, yeah that's a nice sight and I'll show you an example. In a moment, you'll learn about astrophotography. Uh, now, um, I'm going to show you a comparison. So, uh, this is a standard photo. Uh, you probably can't see anything. It was just taken normally. Now, this is a night sight photo. It was taken in six seconds. And this is how it looks. Absolutely different. So, um, yeah, as you can see, it is very, very bright compared to this one. It just had more time to capture that light. And that light comes from a like computer monitor, but there's no source of light besides that, no additional source of light. And you can see everything is in detail and everything is well lit up, even though in person it's not that lit up. So, yeah, that's really, really great, I think. Now, astrophotography will capture it for longer. It can capture it for up to four minutes. Of course, your phone has to keep still for four minutes. So it's best to um, put your phone on a tripod or somewhere where it's not moving at all. And that lets you take a very, very good pictures of like the sky at night, the moon, or the stars, stuff like that. And to do it, you need to be in night sight. Then uh, click on um, first here uh, in top bottom left corner and make sure that astrophotography is set to auto, not to off. And then if you go to the button in the bottom right corner, it lets you select the time of the Mm, night sight, so it can be two seconds, it can be maximum, like auto, which in my case is two seconds, M maximum, which is going to be six seconds, or go all the way to the right to astro. And now simply um, start taking that picture, click on it, and it will start taking. Here we have a few things here, so like. Remember that astrophotography should be set to auto. And now you can uh, start taking that astrophotography picture. It'll start counting down from five because that's what I have set. And now in this case, it needs just around like half a minute. But a moment ago, it needed four minutes when I tried capturing something else. And um, yeah, it's gonna just capture it all, then make it look good. Of course, I'm just like recording the table, so it won't do much, but um, yeah, if you wait the whole time, then you're gonna have a really, really good picture because uh, it's gonna have uh, all those details. So uh, now you probably know that the longer that phone is exposed to Mm, to the light, the brighter the photo will be, the more details of the light can it capture. Now, what if you actually want something moving in the photo that will be blurred out because the longer the phone takes the photo, the more blurred out some details may be, like 
the details are moving. But you don't want the photo to be overly exposed and don't, don't want it to be overly bright. Then you can go to long exposure mode. Now the long exposure mode will actually make the photo look okay with its light. So um, like the lighting will look exactly the same as in standard photo mode. So in dark environment it may be too dark but in normal environment it'll be just fine. Mm, but it, what it'll do is it'll make the elements that are moving blurred out. Like, you know, that sort of dynamic stuff. Um, <clears throat> I'm not really sure if I'll be able to reproduce that, but I'll try my best and I'll get back to you. Once you take the start taking it here, it'll just start loading and then it'll finish by itself. So I'll try reproducing that, showing you an example, but now I'll just show you how to do it. You can see you need to hold your phone still and it'll take that photo uh, just a moment longer, longer than usual. Okay, I tried reproducing that, uh, like I didn't really have a good environment for that, but I tried doing something like this here, where I took the plant from here. Uh, <laughs> so uh, yeah, now you can see this is the normal photo what it would look like normally. And now if I click on here, this is the blurred out version. So um, I'll just turn the brightness a little bit down you can, so you can see more detail here. Uh, so you can see it is blurred out. Of course, I was moving just ever so slightly here. Uh, so that's what was captured. But I think it's best for like capturing, uh, I don't know, the street, the city, when there's people moving around and you're holding your phone very still. So everything like um, the architecture is still and it's sharp, but the people that are moving, it looks very dynamic because they look like they are in movement because they are all, all a little blurred out. So um, yeah, that's what the long exposure photo does. And I highly recommend trying to take a picture um, with that mode, as I said, for example, on a street, but make sure that you are holding still um, your phone, your hand, so the viewport doesn't get all wiggly wobbly and stuff like that. And also you can go to the photo, uh, to, 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 to the night side, and let me know if you like the astro mm, mode, uh, of course, at night uh, when you're capturing the mm, sky. And I hope that the video was helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.